the Delta variant is concerning because it is spread much more easily than prior uh, versions of COVID-19 that we have seen. This means that uh, more people are getting sick. That means more people are getting hospitalized and dying from the infection as well. The Delta variant um, is concerning because it's more highly transmissible, but the good news is that the COVID-19 vaccine is still highly protective against getting infected or lining up in hospital or dying from the infection. Breakthrough infection is a rare event where someone who is fully vaccinated uh, still ends up getting infected with COVID-19. Uh, the good news is that these breakthrough infections generally have been asymptomatic or only led to mild illness and the vaccine remains highly protective against winding up in hospital or dying from the infection. The mutations that have caused the Delta variant do seem a bit more likely to, to break through our vaccine immunity um, as compared to the original types of COVID-19. If you are one of those very rare breakthrough cases we've been hearing about who still gets infected despite being vaccinated. Um, I want to emphasize those cases are getting a lot of headlines, but they're very rare uh, events, and they are not what is driving the current surge in cases that we're seeing. The current surge is really amongst unvaccinated people, predominantly young and middle-aged. If a vaccinated person gets infected with COVID-19, it is possible for them to transmit it to others. Um, thankfully, the vaccine significantly reduce your risk of getting infected, which then reduces your risk of passing it on. Um, but yes, it is possible. And uh, there's still um, studies being done to understand exactly um, how that risk compares with people who are unvaccinated. Knowing that uh, in rare cases, a vaccinated person can transmit COVID-19 to someone else is uh, the, one of the primary reasons behind the recommendation that vaccinated people now continue to wear a mask um, if they're indoors um, in areas where we're seeing a lot of virus circulation. Guidance on masking has changed with the Delta variant for a number of reasons. Um, one is that the variant is highly transmissible. It's spread much more easily than prior uh, types of COVID-19 that we have seen. And so a layered strategy for prevention becomes even more important. So using masks along with vaccination um, will be more protective than using either alone. So with the Delta variant, we are seeing an uh, increased number of cases amongst children. The American Academy of Pediatrics has uh, reported a significant increase in COVID-19 cases amongst people under 18 years of age. So children who are eligible to be vaccinated, which is um, anyone over 12 years of age, uh, should get vaccinated before returning to school in the fall. It is uh, the single most effective measure that we'll have. So the best way we can protect kids who can't be vaccinated themselves is to make sure that everyone around them is vaccinated. So that means anyone over 12 years of age should go out and get their vaccine, um, especially before return to school in the fall. Um, other strategies like uh, wearing a mask when you're out in public, excellent hand washing continues to be incredibly important, both for the prevention of COVID-19 and spread of other infections that we're seeing rise in the communities as well these days. Well, as of right now, there are uh, three vaccines that are approved for use in the United States. Uh, children over uh, 12 years of age are approved for uh, one of the vaccines, which is the Pfizer vaccine. So as we've seen uh, the older part of our population get vaccinated and derive protection from COVID-19, we are seeing that uh, children and young adults are making up a larger proportion of new cases of COVID-19. Um, this is for a variety of reasons. We don't yet have a vaccine that's approved for children under 12 years of age, so they're still very vulnerable to getting infected. Um, we also know that vaccine uptake amongst young adults has not been as high as we had hoped, um, and so there's still a large proportion of that population that is still susceptible to getting infected. If you have not yet been vaccinated, we recommend that you get vaccinated. It is the best thing we have to offer for protection at this point in time.